ओके हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे आई एम टेकिंग न्यू टॉपिक सो दिस इज द एच डी एल सी लाइफ साइकिल मॉडल इन द लास्ट सेशन वी ऑलरेडी सी वट इज मीन बाय एच डी एल सी लाइफ साइकिल सो इन योर एच डी एल सी लाइफ साइकिल देर आर मेनी मॉडल्स आर कम्स इन सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग सो दिस मॉडल्स आर यूज फॉर द बिल्डिंग योर न्यू सॉफ्टवेयर ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट इज अफ्ट वट इज द मॉडल्स first models means what it will be enhancing your uh, softwares okay it will build your project so there are many uh, models are comes in your sdlc life cycle like uh, waterfall model then rad model spiral model v model incremental model agile model uh, iterative model and big bang model so there are eight models are present in your sdlc life cycle so these models are uh, useful for developing your project okay so these all models are different different purposes but the main aim is developing your actual project so first we will discuss what this mean by waterfall model so waterfall model means what waterfall model is a linear sequential model okay waterfall model is a linear sequential model so this model is a very simple and understanding and uses okay simple to understand and uses so this model is a not a backward thing only forward so like your waterfall all of you know what is mean by waterfall and all of you see ki waterfall means what okay waterfall means what it is a linear sequentially not a backward thing okay only forwarding okay in your waterfall model there are uh, some illustrations is represented of the different phases of your waterfall model so there are six phases are present in waterfall model so which uh, which six phases so first so like this so this these are the six phases of your waterfall model so first one is a requirement analysis then your system designing implementation testing system development deployment and system maintenance so these are the six phases of waterfall model so first phase is a requirement analysis so same like Uh, uh, SDLC life cycle first phase requirement analysis same same thing requirement analysis means what stakeholder needs see what you want okay what the need of your stakeholder so customer needs are comes in your requirement analysis requirement analysis hardware as well as software requirement are comes in your requirement analysis okay second one is your system designing when uh, your requirement is a uh, completed yes my requirements are completed hardware as well as software then comes your next stage this is a designing part means your actual architecture so this architecture will fulfill your uh, customer requirements okay customer needs so after requirement completing system designing are come so it in this system designing part is a rough architecture will be done and this system designing is completed means actual idea ki uh, actual idea ki what you or the customer wants then implementation implementation means your actual coding part okay coding part means uh, writing your code Uh, designing part is completed then comes to your implementation implementation means you are writing a code uh, which you uh, uh, when you want this uh, only want the languages comes in the coding for writing your code now next one is the system testing system test testing means what after completing your implementation then comes the system testing part testing part means what ki uh, when you time to check time to time it will check the coding it's a correct or not errors are coming or not bugs are present in or not so your customer needs are fulfill or not so these all things are comes in your system testing part after coming uh, after completing your system testing then comes in your system deployment so system deployments means what in this phase your actual software is completed and it will be used for your stakeholder so stakeholder will use this software and deployment part is completed then coming to the your maintenance part maintenance part means 
when your software is a running mode when your software is a running or a using mode so this uh, system maintenance will maintaining all the things in your software so this is your waterfall model okay so waterfall model there is a one advantage this is uh, this waterfall model is always simple to implement okay it is always a simple to implement and it will require a simple and explicitly declared and these start and end point for each phases is fixed okay why because of this is not a backward thing only forward thing so that's why start and end points for the each phases is fixed and requirements are also simple and explicitly declared why because of it will always include a short project it will always include a short project so that's why the requirements are simple and explicitly declared and this model is a simple to implement then there are some disadvantages also disadvantages in this model the risk factor is very high because of your this model the, this model is only linear sequential means only back forward direction so not a backward so if your one phase is completed na so you don't come to back okay so that's why the risk factor is very high and this model is cannot be accept the changes in their requirements during the development when your requirement is completed and coming to the going to the next phase so we cannot they, this model is cannot accept the changes okay so it becomes a tough to go back to the phases it's a very tough thing ki Uh, this this phase is not a backward direction only forward direction so these are the disadvantages of your waterfall model i hope students all of you uh, getting this topic waterfall model okay so thank you students